I need help. I lost most of my cubs, there are very few scouts left, and I don't have enough leaders for the Venture Scouts. May I help you? Who are you? I am the Sunflower. I'm a specialist in growth strategy. I can provide you with the methodology, competencies and energy you need in order for you to offer better scouting for more young people. Is this okay for you? Sure. Wow. Why not? But where do I start? By getting to know your members. By gathering information concerning your association's current membership. I'll give you some examples. In Belgium, the Scouts on Gidsen Vlaanderen have developed an incentive to get leaders to send in updated registration information. In the Netherlands, they developed a mathematical formula to analyse the evolution of their membership, which provides an early warning system if a scout group is facing issues with their membership. You monitor the membership trends. You measure growth so as to manage it. You can trigger alarm bells. More qualitative feedback from your members can provide you with an insight into your association's achievements and the areas in need of improvement. Cool. But I really feel as though my group works in isolation. Not a problem. There are solutions to get to know your world. Working with UNICEF, Egyptian scouts explored child labour problems. They created a programme to improve living and working conditions of the children and their families. Like in Egypt, relevant information about demographic statistics and trends will enable you to pinpoint issues to address more clearly, gain a more accurate profile of your target markets, have a greater chance of attracting and retaining them, understanding them better. Fantastic! Fantastic! But hey, that's not enough. You need a strategic plan to increase your membership. Oh! You mean, we're going to have to make decisions? Yes, like in the United States. Their rapidly growing Hispanic population represents a large potential market for scouting. Research revealed that many families thought that scouting was only for wealthy people. Based on that, considerable work has been undertaken to develop relationships with the Hispanic community. This is an example of strategic decision-making. Long-term growth requires Strategic approach to expansion within your traditional target youth population or reaching out to new segments of the youth population. Yeah, it looks like we have to decide on a direction to take. But I'm just a local scout unit leader, so I need to feel that I'm supported. Hello? Where are you? Oh, that's always the same. Great ideas. No support. No, no, I'm here. I'm happy to support you. Look what they did in South Africa. Retaining members was a problem. In Mapumalanga province, it was decided to stop creating new groups and to strengthen existing ones. Field officers were appointed to support the new leaders and establish training and equipment needs. Local support is critical for the growth of the movement. It is simply about good communication, building positive relationships, no complex management structures, no extensive bureaucracy. But what I need is to have the time to prepare and run the activities. Our problem is finding this time to be creative and to reach out to new groups of young people. Hmm, OK, but sometimes you have to accept alternative solutions to reach out to these new groups. In Hong Kong, scouts have launched a special programme to bring scouting to young delinquents in prison. In the UK, scouting has been run in London's Great Ormond Street Hospital for more than 40 years. Each week, eight leaders work with children running games and crafts activities. The traditional approach to delivering a youth programme may prevent a number of young people from becoming scouts, so you need to explore some alternative methods of delivery. Changing when units meet, how they meet, where they meet, and the age grouping in which they meet. You have to be innovative. 
I'm prepared to do this, but sometimes I feel isolated. Not enough scout leaders to support our activities. This is already the sixth trick I'm going to give you. The bill will be hefty. You need to retain a sufficient quantity of motivated and effective volunteer leaders and maintain their motivation. In Australia, the government has accredited the Wood Badge and other advanced training programmes for leaders. Developing adult resources involves a strategic approach based on recruitment, training, support, recognition, retention. Any other questions? The last one, I promise. So, what about the youth programme? You need to guarantee a challenging and relevant youth programme. Ask the boys and girls. They know what they need. In El Salvador, scouting responded to the gang culture by organising camps for gang members to offer these young people ways to spend their time. The youth programme for all aged sections has to be appealing, challenging, relevant to young people. The ability of the leadership team to offer meaningful experience to young people is crucial. Hey, where are you? I called my friends. We're off to organise our action for growth. Mm -hmm.